have here is just a, you know, a regular Michael's Economy canvas. And I already got paint on my fingers and I ain't even started yet. It's going to be one of them days. <laughs> be sure you say hello when you come in so I know you're here. I'd love to talk to you. All right, so let's go. So I got some liquid clear here. Let's get some on this canvas. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's get some phthalo blue. Yeah. Put some phthalo blue out here. Ooh, brand new tube of paint. Excellent. Now, if you were on my last stream, you know we opened a brand new uh, can of Bob Ross. I mean, that black, and it was not very good. It was not very good. I was really surprised. All right, so let's get some liquid clear. So I'm just kind of mixing liquid clear and this, this thalo blue. All right. We're just going to brush this on here. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. But I just took that and put it on a um, put a paper towel and just let the oil drain out, and it was it was okay after that. How are you today? I'm going to put a little night scene here. I think it's going to be a night scene. It looks like a night scene starting off. We'll find out, I reckon. Scrubbing some liquid clear on here. Just some phthalo blue. Get work in the canvas real good. Shirley, my sis, everybody. Liquid clear, so why not use it, right? All right, let's clean the brush. Then we're gonna wipe some of this back off. Hey, Gene. How's everybody doing today? Going into the weekend. It's feeling cooler here where I live in Kentucky. It's been raining the last two days. All right. So before we get started here, let's. We want to wipe some of this liquid clear back off, and I'll tell you why. It's because if you have too much liquid clear, it'll make your canvas so slick, your paint will just run right off the canvas. You just take a paper towel, and honestly, if you just kind of wipe it as much as you can, 
You probably can't go wrong. Alright, it looks pretty good. Let me take a moment, clean my hands off. Hey George, from Ohio. George, where do you live in Ohio? Arbor, if I remember correctly, you live in Kosovo, right? Is that right? I'm starting to try to remember everybody. <laughs> we'll see if I'm very successful here in a minute. Alright. Let's clean the knife. Let's take... Before we get rolling too much, let's take some, uh, let's get some liquid white. That's a brand new can. I've got a can open here somewhere. There it is. Oh man, I got another whole can of liquid white. We can go, we can go to town. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so let's get this liquid white open. I think we're going to put some stars up in the sky before we start. So we're going to, we're going to commit to a night scene. You guys, if you tune in much, usually when I get started, I don't really have a, firm feeling about everything where I'm going to go with my painting, I just go, I just go with it. Alright. So, we're going to, let's put some stars in the sky. Uh, let's see, find me a nice soft fan brush. Alright, I'm going to use this big dude. Alright, so we're just going to dip in some liquid white, pull it over here to the to the edge of the easel, just tap it off. Alright, let me kind of, I'm going to test it right down here, right down here. Okay, that's going to work. So let's just put some stars in the sky. Not a lot, not a lot, just, just a few here and there. Do -do -do, do -do, do -do -do -do. Don't wanna, don't wanna overpower it too much. Twenty minutes southwest of Akron and New Frank. Okay, I know where that's at. It should be. Uh, is it? Is it chilly up there? I know it, it's. It's gotten colder down here. We're a little. We're kind of a little bit south of you. It might make a difference in the weather. Maybe. All right. So let's get. Let me close that up. Put that away. You guys wonder why I open and close things. Uh, I have ADD, so if I don't, I tend to leave some of them open and that costs too much, so let's not do that. All right, so I'm gonna get some titanium white out. And, oh, you know what, I got some out already. See, see what I'm talking about? Right there, that's exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so we flatten this out here on the palette. I'm just going to kind of get, get the, my motor running here a little bit. I'm going to put a moon up in the sky. And then we'll, then we'll come in with some other stuff. So let's put the moon, oh, say, right here. So we're just going to do a little finger paint. Forty-eight degrees. Yeah, that's about what it is here. It might be. It might get to fifty today. Hey, Noreen. How are you today? Hey, Bernard. All right. Let's put some. Let's put some clouds in the sky. So let me get number, number six fan brush here. All right. So let's pick up some titanium white. Roll it up pretty good. I'll show you the brush here in a second. So you know we're carrying about this much paint. And the brush. So we're going to the canvas and kind of pull it through. Let me show you. As we pull that through, use this great big old giant brush, we're kind of taking it into the paint, pulling it down, and then wiggling it like this. Flipping it over, pulling it down, and wiggling it like that. Doing it a couple times. Make sure the brush gets loaded all up inside the bristles there. So that's kind of the stroke if you're looking for that stroke. Now we're going to put some clouds in the sky. Let's kind of, let's have them. How do I do these? Alright, let's just kind of. So I'm just using the very tip edge of this brush. 
Matter of fact, let me hold it a little closer. Can you see where that little bit picked up that little bit of blue right there, right? We're just gonna kind of paint some stars up here in the sky. Some stars, some clouds up here in the sky. Oh man, I'm gonna do between stars and clouds. All right, now let's take a one inch brush. We're gonna take these clouds one at a time. I'll tell you why I like to do that. Is because it allows me to put other clouds in front of it. So we're just using the edge of this brush. And we're just blending this out. You know, you can't really go wrong with clouds too much. It's pretty hard to go along, along with them. Well, you know what? I think I'll let that cloud. You'll be able to see through that cloud a little bit right there. And let me wipe a little bit off of this brush. Yeah, I'm hoping Anthony will be back here shortly. He's uh, he came back to Facebook yesterday after a long layoff, so hopefully he's doing he's doing fine. All right, let's put let's put a little streamer right across this moon. Right across this moon. use a fan brush to do this, this this blending this time because I don't really want to mess up this moon too much so I'm just going to kind of blend this out with this fan brush mm -hmm. All right. All right. And I think I want to let that brush go You guys, if you have any questions, just throw them up there. If I don't know the answer, I'll sure tell you. That's for sure. Okay, Shirley, see you then. Hi, Georgia. How are you, young lady? All right. Maybe I'll tell you what. Let's load this, let's load this brush up pretty good. Let's take this. Take this cloud in front of it. There we go. Kind of keeping that brush moving. So as these clouds are getting closer, they're getting closer to us as we go. We got one cloud behind the next. You know, that's what you're really tr looking for here is to create create layers within your painting. That's what makes them, that's what makes them sell. I don't, I don't sell a lot. I sell a couple of dozen a year, but I know what I like. So, all right, now we're just going to kind of lift this one up a little bit. It's barely, barely touching the canvas. Barely, barely touching the canvas. If you miss it the first few times, that's okay. Let's go over here to this one too. Alright. Folks, this is Georgia J. Scott there on my channel with me, a good friend of mine. She lives in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. She is she is the epitome of southern grace and charm. She is a sweetheart. An absolute sweetheart. Alright, so I'm just blending the bottom of this out a little bit. I think maybe, 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 maybe. Let's put one more, let's put one more cloud in here over here on this other side. I was considering not doing that, but I think I will. I think I will. Alright, let's put, let's see. I don't want to do that. I don't want to bust that one up too much, so let's kind of, let's give the impression that the moon's kind of a little bit more up in the sky, so let's just kind of, let 
Maybe we'll even put one more in front of that one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, come on now, George. <laughs> I've been friends a long time. Not as long as I wish we had been, but a long time. Very nice lady. All right, so you can see just the edge of this cloud, same just in the front of this other cloud, right? So I think we'll leave that go for just a bit now. All right. I think we're going to have like a, thinking about this, I think we're going to have like a, maybe a quiet little ocean scene. I don't want a big crashing wave kind of a scene. I'm not feeling big and crashing today. I feel kind of, kind of laid back. They are, Robin. They absolutely are. Hey, Fernando. All right. I thought of something else I can do right here. And this is this is how I paint. So welcome to how I paint. I was like, oh, I thought of something else I can do. Do you guys do that? Let's just put a couple little little streamers in here. Just a couple little. And then I want to put, let's go right about here. I'll tell you what, let's do this. So I'm going to come below where this moon is. I'm just going to kind of put some, put some white paint in here. Then we're gonna maybe bring that even a little bit farther down. There we go. And then let's just kind of pull it. You know, you can do lots of things with your moon. You can put it in the middle if you want. And actually, I've got a couple of uh, canvases prepped over there to do something just like that. So maybe on Sunday when we paint, we'll we'll uh, do one of those. Is going to be, it should be good. All right, so, all right, let's do, let's just soften this out now. Just this part. Here. All right, let's we'll start putting the ocean in here. So, I'm going to use a palette knife to start with. So, I'm just going to load this palette knife up. Well, first, I'm going to wipe it off because it's got liquid clear on it. That's not going to go good on the canvas. Sorry. All right, so. We're just going to load a small bead of paint on the knife, about like that, just like you do when you put it in mountains. I'm going to kind of put my finger up here so I can keep my eye on where I'm supposed to be going. We're just going to kind of come in here and scribe a line. All right, that's okay. We're a little crooked over here on the side, but we're going to straighten it out. Trying to make it perfect for that part. All right. So we're going to continue on now with this knife. We're just going to kind of lay this ocean in here. So as you're doing this, you want to make sure you keep your knife horizontal. Left-handed, right-handed. When you move to that side of the opposite side of the canvas, you want to make sure you kind of go that way. Guys, excuse me. If I, I'm gonna pause just now. Look back at the monitor and see if anybody has asked me anything. Put a little bit more white in here on that reflection. All right, let's work with this a little bit. 
I'm just going to use a one inch brush. You can use a two inch brush or anything else that you'd like to, anything else you'd like to blend with. And we're going to push down on this pretty hard. Smooth that paint, push that paint around. Start to create the surface of this water. You can see that despite the fact that I wiped off that the canvas before I started, it's still got quite a bit of liquid clear thing blue on there, so we're not too worried about that. Mike, that would be awesome. All right, so let's go. Let's think about this. So yeah, if you guys didn't see Anthony's back, Anthony C. Anthony C. Gray, fantastic painter. He's like my brother. He's a great guy. He's a super nice guy. We all been missing him. Those of us who follow him, so his channel will be up and running again pretty soon. So you know, the more you do this, the softer it's going to get. A nice little. Some color down here. I'm going to work this way out. Right. So just pulling this down, keeping it sustained with the angle. Hey, Julie. I know, Robin, right? I mean, there's so many things that you can, it just makes the colors pop off of there. Leonardo da Vinci was very big on, on wanting to use uh, black prime canvases. All right. I'm just going to come in here and pull some of this down now, just smooth this out. Make sure you keep your angles. Make sure you keep your angles. scenes. But usually if I do them, I do them on black canvas. I just, I've got a couple that I didn't, but
back out. It's not what I wanted. I think I'm gonna do. Let's do this a little bit. Let's let's put a little bit more down here. This right here. This is part. And I think we'll start to put. Let's blend that out. And I think we'll start putting like a piece of a beach in here, maybe or something like that. I don't want a lot of ruckus going on out here. We could put. We could put some smaller waves out here. And get this a little bit of water turbulence like this. Let's think about. So let's think about this beach. What are we gonna do here? What do we want to do here? Let's put. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I want to have like the water just kind of running like this. All right. So if that's so, let's take. Let's scoop up some. I'm gonna have titanium white before, before I'm done. That's for sure. All right, so let's just kind of start laying some water in here. So let's start up here. Let's wipe on the back of that. There we go. All right, so we're going we're gonna to put the knife down. We're going to push on it fairly hard and kind of start scrubbing this paint in here. Some of that we may do something with, something different. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, the water wants to have like two different, two different ones of those, so let's pull another one further back down the beach here. And right here, I guess we'll separate them maybe. Free with that a little bit. Just added a little bit of color in here to this part. All right. Hey Wilson. Hey Carolyn. Tammy, how are you? Wilson, how are you, buddy? Wilson, I've been friends a long time. All right. I knew Wilson when he was just a whippersnapper. All right. <laughs> Let's brush this wave on back up in here like that. Let's pull those waves up in here a little bit. Let's pull some of this color around. I don't want a whole lot of motion in there. Let's just kind of pull a little bit of this water backwards just to soften it. There you go. Let's figure out some objects for this. That is always good to hear, buddy. Always, always, always. All right, let's see what we want to do here. Let's put a doo -doo 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 -doo. let's put a rock in here. We gotta have a rock. I mean, what would what would what would a pain be with a rock? Let's see. I put round rocks in, but I put some, I put some jagged rocks in here today on this part, maybe. Let's get that. Let's get a little bit of dark sienna, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. 
while we're shooting paint, let's get a little bit more titanium white because I'm about out. Hey Joe, how are you today? All right, let's get, let's figure out where this rock's gonna go. Let's put one. Let's put one like right in here. Let's break that color in. It's the only time you should really have your finger on top of your knife. some water around that in a second but let's highlight it first thank you it's, we're just kind of meandering around here trying some different things here I started off just kind of knowing I was going to do a night scene but I wasn't really sure anything about a beach scene but here we are here we are more as like a rocky beach scene I guess hmm. Right, so there's too much liquid clear right here on this part of the canvas. So we're just going to really quickly, we're going to fix that. It's always nice to see how people fix things. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Looking for a particular thing. I'm just not eight too many paintbrushes. How many of you guys are addicted to buying paintbrushes? I am. I need to stop. Well, all right, I don't see what I'm looking for, so I'll just, I'll just do this with my knife. All right, so we're just going to come in here, right here, where we just went. I'm going to scrape this off. Not that big a deal, really. And if you figure that out when you start oil painting, you'll paint stress-free. <laughs> all right. There's too much paint in there. So, when there's too much paint, just take it off. So I'm just going to rub it off with a paper towel. Now we'll put it back in. Oh yes, that's much better. I think we might that rock maybe just a little deeper in on the beach. Alright, and now let's pick up some dark sienna. Hmm. Oh maybe Ooh, I wonder how this would look. Let's try this color out. Very good though. Let's try it again. We'll put that color down. Then we'll put a little bit of uh, additional highlight over the top of that. So the paint's going to be thin again here in a minute. Just a little bit here on this rock. Here we go. Just a little bit on the edge of the rock. Thank you, Kathy. We're just coming along here. All right, now let's get some. Put some water around that. We're going to let some of that. See, we want some of this brown mix right there. We want that to mix because I'm going to kind of give you the uh, it's getting shallow over here, kind of a feel to the beach. All right. Like that. Hey, Tom. Right, that's right, Robin. <laughs> that's the way it is for me, anyway. <laughs> All right, let me wipe my hands off and then we'll get back to doing this. All right, so let's put 
Let's put just a. Uh, uh, what do I do? Let me just get, let's put another rock in. Then we'll put it. Then we'll put a tree in. Maybe. Maybe a palm tree. Or something like that. Let's put one like right here. Let's make this one smaller though. It looks awful flat for a rock. Let's make it bigger like that. There we go. Let's pull that down. Squish it in there. Alright. Let's just mix up a little bit of color. And we'll kind of echo that a little bit. So let's kind of put a little bit of highlight here. Just a little bit right on the edge of this rock. We don't we don't have like the, the splashing over the top of the rocks because this, this the ocean's just not really that, rolling that hard right now. Alright, so let me put a little bit more color in right here. I'm just kind of keeping it horizontal, but I'm just kind of moving it around where I am. And, and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to soften it. So just kind of, we're going to leave the, we're going to leave this light color right here on the top. We're just going to leave it there, but we're just going to soften the rest of this just to smooth it out. There we go. Like All right. I'm going to leave this corner kind of sitting dark. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. let's see. Let's see if I'm just going to throw a little bit of color in here right here. Why not? Yeah, I think it looks better. It doesn't look quite so empty. I think the only thing I go through more than paint brushes, well, I don't really go through paint brushes. I just, I just keep buying them. I need to stop buying them. But I just keep Every so often, I'm like, oh, I could use that brush for. Plus, I mean, what your brushes wear out, you just kind of, you know, you can still use them for scrubbing, scrubbing and stuff. So things in. All right, let's get, let's think about this tree. Let's think about this tree. A tree. <laughs> all right, how about a palm tree? Will that, will that work? Everybody, does everybody, I don't go to the beach all that much. Everybody like palm trees? Let's kind of put them up here though. Let's, you know, because the beach, the beach is like, you can't be sitting right here on the beach where the water is. So let's put them up here. Let's put them here in the sky a little bit. Your bravery test. It's gonna come down here, and mess up your all your beautiful stuff you just did. Let's do it. All right, tell you what, we'll put that one in first. Then we'll think about putting it. Then we'll think about putting the second one in. So let me set that brush aside. I'm gonna pick up a small number three fan brush. I'm gonna pick up some. No. I don't think so. Let's get some sienna color. Let's get a sienna color up here. I'll just kind of put some fronds in here. So we're just gonna load this up. I think I think we've got a thin enough amount of paint on here, or a reasonable amount of paint, to put these fronds in. So we're just gonna kind of I'm just gonna kind of lay them out first. So let's just kind of like that. Maybe one like this. Maybe another one up like that. Um, maybe another one out like that. All right. Maybe one more like this. All right. So, all right, so we're gonna load this up. We're gonna start seeing up. We're just gonna go up here. See if I can find my fucking. Let me show you my fiberglass here. So I got a piece of fiberglass. Here's what we're gonna do. So we created the frond, right? We just took it and just kind of, you know, pushed it on there like that. We're just gonna take the brush and we're just gonna kind of put it on there, and pull it down, pull it down, wisp it, just a wisp it like that. So you don't want to go back over the same spot much often because that's not what we're trying to do here. All right, so let's put some fronds on here.
And of course, you don't want them to all be even because that would look silly. All right, so you want one to go in one direction, one set to go in the other. Like that. We'll come back and put some highlight on these in a second. Excellent, how are you? All right, let's pull these in. Make it a little thicker right there. So we're just gonna keep pulling those down. Front of your trunk, push that trunk back. It gives you gives you a little bit more depth in the painting, right? Pulling it back, just a little bit. All right. Okay. Let's highlight that and see what it looks like. Now, let me think about how I want to highlight it though. The trees, if the tree is in brown, is a let's I'll tell you. Let's start off why. Let's start off highlighting the tree. Let's say. Let's say. And we will do that. I'll do that using the. Uh, let's just use a knife. Let's use a knife. So I'm going to take take some titanium white, a little bit of phthalo blue, because really it only takes a little bit of phthalo blue to phthalo blue anything. So it's a super, super, super powerful color. So let's let's try this. Let's put some. Highlight right on the edge of this. Too. We'll find out in a second. I think they'll be a little bit darker though because we don't want to put, uh, we've got contrast there of black and white or black and bluish white. So the color we want to put on there needs to, uh, I don't know, now I think about it. I don't know if I really want to. Hmm. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. <laughs> Let's take, let's take just a bit of this and see how. Instead of going right to the edge, we'll just kind of pull in a little bit from the edge. Don't let that contrast remain. I don't need to highlight both sides though. What I did was I just mixed some titanium white with some blue, some thin and blue. Now let's take this and blend it a little bit. Hey, Dee Dee. I thought Anthony would be here, but he hasn't made it yet. He's probably taking a nap. I'm just teasing. All right, so let's. All right, so I want to finish out this corner a little bit. So let's just take this part. I'll tell you what, let's just pick up.
What else? What else, guys? Oh, let's let's put it, let's put another rock in here just for the heck of it. Got some extra paint sitting here on my. Let's put one like. Let's, let's bring it down from this one. Let's kind of smear it out this way. I want to come down too far because I still want the water to be able to go behind it a little bit like that. I'll just kind of make it jut out a little like that. Like that. And we'll just kind of press that color in there and take any extra color off that we don't want on there. And now let's slap a little highlight on. And I think we might be ready to about call this done. So let's put... So there we go, gang. We got the sky, and we got we got eleven, two, three layers of clouds. There's a fourth layer back there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir thirteen. It's usually the number of layers I come up with um, about counting them. So, all right. Well, thank you, everybody. It, uh, on our Sunday video. We will be giving away another painting. I don't have it out here right now, but um, we gave one away to Dorothy Pierce earlier in the week. And we'll be giving another one away soon. So be sure to support living artists. We appreciate you much more than, than uh, dead artists do. So, And we'll see you on the next stream Sunday.